Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. Today we are creating gifts for those dads and grads in our lives. So it's that time of year where some of us have graduates in our lives and Father's Day is right around the corner. So I'm gonna walk you guys through some quick, easy, and affordable gift ideas. My first gift idea is something that my graduate really appreciated. It is so busy leading up to graduation and graduates are kind of poor usually around graduation. So I gifted her with creating some design on the top of her hat that she liked. And that meant no running around for supplies, no time figuring out what she was going to do or executing it. And she really appreciated it. So I just picked up a few things from Dollar Tree and Walmart. And I asked her for some ideas. I know that she loves butterflies. So I went with this butterfly sticker that you iron on from Dollar tree. It turned out amazing and it actually ended up on camera during graduation. Everyone gave her a ton of compliments on it. Now I know Dollar Tree has a few other options. I've seen it in a star and in a tiger. So you may want to check out Dollar Tree for this. Now I will walk you through this real quickly and give you some advice. So I could not figure out how to remove the button on the top of my graduate's cap. I didn't want to mess it up. And so I just followed the instructions on the back of the sticker and I did do some trial and error. So of course I used a cloth in between. I just was afraid of melting and I started at a very low heat, worked myself up to a very hot heat. And then I would check on it every now and then and see how far it was, how much more work I had to do. There were a few times where just a few of the beads did not adhere. So then I went back in with my iron for a little bit more time to let it fully adhere before I remove my sticker. Now, remember, your graduate not only has graduation, but they have a few run throughs and activities beforehand. So you're going to want to get this done for them way ahead of time, at least a week before graduation. Make sure to check in with them on their dates of when they'll need their cap and gown because my daughter ended up wearing hers, I think, three or four times. Now, as you can see, once I got it fully adhered, the center was not fully covered because that's the body of a butterfly. Now, you can go in with a little bit of glue and some rhinestones, add some more. I'm not sure how this would work on maybe a tiger's face. Maybe you could figure out a better placement or look up how to remove that button. Now, I think it needed a little bedazzle along the edge. So I took some of this rhinestone mesh that I've had on hand for years from when I used to make cheerleading bows. And I decided to come up with a design, just something to add a little sparkle around the edges. Now, I was afraid to use hot glue on this. I didn't want to melt her cap like with the iron. I was very careful. So I decided to use some tacky glue. That's old school from the 80s. That's what my mom used to use in crafts. And then I did use my tweezers to help me move it into just the right place. I will say that I think tacky glue worked great. It dries clear. I probably used a little too much, but um, you may want to think about tacky glue if you don't have a whole lot of experience with a glue gun and maybe grab some tweezers to help you move things around your hat. Then I decided to go in with some pearls. You can buy these in a pack for 98 cents at Walmart or at the Dollar Tree and the ones at the Dollar Tree are a bit larger. So I would recommend Walmart for this particular size of cap. Now, I think that just adding a few and then going around the edge, putting them in between where I came up with almost like little mountains around the edge. It was just right. I wanted to go in with even more sparkle, but she said, no, mom, that's enough. So now to our next gift idea. This is something that would be great for any time of year, but especially graduation. So my graduate is actually completing her senior year in high school, and she is going to be working a ton this summer before college in the fall. She's going to be taking her lunch with her. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up a plethora of snacks for her to take 
with her to her new job, things that I knew she would enjoy. She loves dark chocolate and she likes things that are salty and crunchy. So you can pick up snacks from anywhere, but make sure that you have some sort of container, some styrofoam, some tape, and some bamboo sticks. You can find those in the kitchen area and those are for grilling kebabs, but I use them in these decorative bouquets that are gifts. I also decided to add a little something. I found a stuffed animal at Walmart that looks like our dog and a balloon from the Dollar Tree. I went in with my foam, adding it to my little container. Now this is a birthday container, but no one will know. I just put the lid on the bottom for some added stability. And then I went ahead and put my balloon in the back. You always wanna start with your tallest and heaviest items. That's why I put the pretzels in right away. That's going to be my weighted item. Now, if you don't have something that is super heavy for your gift bouquet, you can consider picking up some glass beads from the Dollar Tree or any craft supply store to put in the bottom to add that little bit of weight. And then you can go ahead and start building your bouquet. So again, always start with the heaviest items. I decided that these peanuts needed more than one skewer, and that's completely okay play around with it. Some items will be really lightweight and only need one of the skewers, but some of them will be more heavy, things like nuts and anything that is going to flop around and not be just where you want it. Once you put it in the foam, it should stay there. If it flops around, add another skewer. Once you have all of your largest items in your bouquet, it's time to add the medium items. For this, I like to use a little bit of this plastic wrap. Now this is considered tissue paper, places like the Dollar Tree. I cut it up so it doesn't really matter what size it is, but I love that it was iridescent and has a lot of sparkle to it. So you're gonna wanna make this sort of um, bunch, I guess, and then open it up, stick your skewer through it, now, what we're doing is we're just adding that bit of decorative sparkle. And what you want it to do is slide down that skewer once you get your item in place. So I add a little bit of tape to it, not letting it stick to the skewer. Now you can see that this piece, it sits up way too high. So what you wanna do is break off some of that length to get it to sit right down into your bouquet and have that sparkle right at the bottom. So it looks like tissue paper is just spraying out of your gift bouquet. Now, something that I like to do is buy items that are identical that will balance the bouquet on both sides. You can see I use two kind bars. I try and put something in the center and then have two of something on either side. So for instance, my daughter really likes dark chocolate. So I bought two of these dark chocolate candy bars by Godiva at the Dollar Tree. I added that tissue that is sparkly and then I put one on either side. Now it's time to balance it with something in the middle. I'm gonna go in and actually use this stuffed animal. I bought this at Walmart, but I believe you can find similar items at the Dollar Tree and it just adds that bit of cuteness. Now it's time for our small items. For this, I'm using some miniature Hershey's. This year they have some really cute sayings on them for graduates and I just put one Hershey on each skewer. I add a little bit of curling ribbon and then I curl it on each skewer and push it all the way up to the candy bar and voila, it's time to add those to our bouquet. Just go in and add them every here and there. If you put one on the right, put one on the left to balance it out, move them around as needed. And remember, you can always break those skewers to make them just the right height for your bouquet. I'm telling you guys, I've seen these in the grocery store that are much less impressive for much more money. So save yourself some coin when it comes to gifting these type of bouquets to your friends and family. Now that we've done our bouquet, let's move on to something that is a little bit more manageable and affordable, and that is, of course, a lay. For this, I like to use the cello wrap that you can find in a roll in the wrapping section of Dollar Tree. I like to cut strips of this. You're gonna need two of the same size strip, and they're only about four inches wide, and you're gonna need 10 pieces of candy, five on each of those strips. Then go ahead and fold your five pieces of candy, making sure to leave a little bit of room in between them. And I'll show you why here in a second. Now it is important to me that you cover them in this. I've seen people make lays without any kind of protection. And sometimes graduations can get pretty hot and chocolate does melt in the heat. So that's why I've always insisted on making them in this clear wrap and it doesn't add a whole lot 
price wise, I made eight out of one roll. So not a whole lot for price. Then you're going to take your sections of candy. You're going to twist them 180 degrees, 360 degrees, however you want to do it. I like all my candy to face forward. And then once they're twisted, add some ribbon. Now you're going to have two of these completed and you're going to take one end of each side and twist those together like a piece of candy at the end and then add some of this ribbon for more stability. It will not come apart. I like to add a little extra ribbon, but that is more decorative than necessary. Then go ahead and repeat the process on the other side, twisting those two sides together and securing it with more curling ribbon. Now I get kind of extra when it comes to the curling ribbon. I curl it all. I add more where it needs to be added. These turn out beautiful. And I have found that 10 pieces of candy is just the right size for an adult. Now remember this has to go over a cap and gown. So you do want it on the longer side and it's sure to put a smile on your graduate's face. Now onto a gift that many give for all kinds of occasions. Now you would say roses, yes. Florals in general are a gift that many of us give for all kinds of occasions. But what I'm going to share here are just a few tips and tricks on how to dress up your bouquet and make it look like it costs a whole lot more than the $8 it was at Walmart. So what you're going to do is get some of this plastic tissue. And we're using some from our gift bouquet. You can find it anywhere that sells tissue for gifting. It's a little more heavy and it is plastic. I like to actually take the wrap that it came in, put it in the middle for more stability. And I trimmed my boxwoods in my front yard to add a little bit more cushion for my florals. So that is one tip and trick that I have for you. Trim your bushes, go outside and see what greenery you can add. Another one is if you have any wilted petals on your florals, just pull those off and they will look fresh. Then go ahead and layer more greenery, again, from my own yard and garden. And then I like to kind of stagger my bouquets. I know that a lot of times when you go to the store and you're going to pay $10 and under for a bouquet, they're all going to be the same height. Well, I like to make them look like a pageant bouquet. I like to stagger them and then reuse that rubber band that they came all collected with. And I really should have trimmed my stems before I added it. I got a clue after a second here and went in with my scissors and just trimmed off the longer pieces. And that made it a whole lot easier to go ahead and put that rubber band around them securely. And you're going to want those all about the same size when you move on to the next step, which is dampening some paper towels. Now things at graduation can be warm, like I said, so you're going to want to have a little bit of moisture around your stems. I also like to add a little plastic bag and then secure it with some tape. I don't have fancy floral stem covers or anything like that, but this has worked like a charm. And then I go ahead and use some tape to fold up my cover. Now this is a two part process. I like to kind of frame the florals with the layers of the two cello wrap in the iridescent. Now that looks beautiful. You could end there, but I don't. I take another piece and then I go ahead and secure the first layer together with some tape. And then I'm going to use this second layer to wrap around the stems to prevent any kind of moisture from escaping from the stems. This also gives a really nice finished look. I just kind of fold it along the back, secure it with some more tape. And you're never going to see that there are two different layers on this bouquet because we're going to now go in with some coordinating ribbon. This is a great time to grab the color of the graduate school and add it in. I just went in with some silver again from the Dollar Tree. You're not going to need a whole lot of ribbon. And I just tie a really nice secure bow right where those two pieces meet up and you'll never know that there are multiple layers. This is a really nice, secure way to give florals to a graduate or anyone in your life. Be sure to store them in a nice cool refrigerator till right before your event. I also like to give a little detail and dovetail the ends of that ribbon on my bouquet. And I got to tell you, my daughter's flowers were the best looking ones at her event and they came home nice and refreshed, not wilted at all because we had that added layer of 
moisture in the paper towels. Now onto a gift for the dads in our lives. Father's Day is right around the corner and I have already started prepping for this. We're giving another bouquet and you won't need any bamboo skewers for this one. I went to the Dollar Tree. You can go anywhere you want. Dollar General, Walmart. Those are going to be the best priced places for snacks and treats for the dad in your life. I picked up some of his favorites. Now, when I do this, I like to consider what kind of container I'm giving them in. And I do usually have a color scheme. So I did try and pick up quite a bit of blue and green for this one. I used one of the pop, get it? Popcorn containers from the Dollar Tree. Now you're going to want to stuff your container before you add your items to lift them up. You could use things like grocery bags. You can use any kind of filler that you get in boxes from Amazon. I actually ended up using these, which are little sheets of padding that they give you at places like Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to go ahead and add on some tissue paper on top just to cover that layer, make it look a little more festive. Again, starting with the larger items, the pretzels and then the trail mix. And then for balance, I did two of these chip containers. Then I go ahead and add in a little bit of beef jerky. I really should have gotten two of those. I think that would have looked really nice. And then I try and balance my colors. So then I go in with blue on either side and then I go ahead and add more blue right behind them. I did end up pulling those up just a little bit. So you can see that there was more gifts in there than you realize. I added this purple in the center and then something sparkly right behind it. Now with these, I thought I was going to go back here, but you couldn't see them. And so I added them to either side for some balance. I think that this turned out really beautiful. I've seen things in the grocery store for $30 that don't even have half amount of snacks in them. So you may want to consider doing a gift bouquet or a snack bouquet for the dads in your life. I am stowing this away until Father's Day. And don't forget, it is June 19th and it's right around the corner. Be sure to comment down below. What's your favorite snack? If you liked this video and would like to see more similar content, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you back very soon.